Hello, good day to all of you. My name is Blair and welcome to another Linux app. Today we're going to take a look into this Zen web browser. And this is a new browser right here in our operating system, either in Windows, Mac, and especially in Linux. But this one is based in Linux as it is based in Firefox web browser, which is an open source and of course we're gonna take a look into this and before we do it we're gonna download this one into our GNU app center let's just click right here in the magnifying glass or the search bar and let's look for the application let's just type in Zen browser so we have the choices right here either we have the Ubuntu repository in Snap. Of course, we also have the verified from the Zen team. They have the flat pack as their base. So let's just uh, install this one while it is installing. Browse your way. Yes, your browser, your way. Zen is the way to browse the web beautiful design private focus and of course packed with feature we care about your experience not your data now it is available let's close this it is loading okay let's just take a look into that one and go to our zen browser right here okay let's click the zen browser all right, so it is beautiful, fast, and private alpha version. Your browser, your way. Beautiful design, private focus, and packed with features. We care about your experience, not your data. True, true, very true. Of course, let's go to the... Oh, they also have some themes. But anyway, let's try to look into this one first. So it is based in Firefox. It is available in GitHub page, which is the Linux application compiler coding. And it is owned by Microsoft, which is also supporting the Linux. And of course, it will be available soon everything from Linux because I think the Microsoft is trying to migrate to the Linux kernel. So right now it is using even the, the server, Azure server or the Azure operating system by Microsoft. It is also using Linux kernel for their operating system. Yes. It has already the version 3 of the Microsoft Linux. They call it the Azure Linux by Microsoft. And of course, this is going to be full open source, which means it is absolutely for free. So that is why GitHub owned by Microsoft, but a Linux app compiler. Browse your way says the Zen web browser. They have their own theme store. Customize your browsing experience. Of course, it's always up to date. So let's try to download. So it has available in different platform. Of course, it is available in Windows and in Mac and of course in Linux. So either you have the zip or the app image or the flat pack so cool right so let me see oh there it is there is a sidebar let's try to check into our youtube our youtube channel real b oh there it is oh that is my sister's graduation last august 16 and that's me in Thailand garbage in Thailand yeah in Asia they're always picking it up every night 
of course that is my students in grade 5 dancing rainy experience <laughs> okay and of course that is in Sung Kran in Odon Tani so okay let's try to see uh, let us see let's add let's go to rumble that is my channel you could always like have a split screen you can also move from side to side whatever you want to and of course if you want to add just click right click the mouse and to the new tab there you can search for for example let's look for odyssey.com all right there you have it odyssey let's look for my channel again of course I'm available so that is my account and this is the channel itself yeah I have a few followers in Odyssey even including my rumble which is only 77 in Odyssey I have 33 but in YouTube I have a lot of subscriber follower thing let's try to see the setup so the general right here you could like always change the font the size of the font even the default zoom you can set the download files into the download folder of course if you want to move it to another it's up to you how about the feels and look I like it dark it not hurting my eyes it's not giving me some eye strain but at the same time I have this accent let me see if I could like use this one yes how about this one it is more darker how about the night theme yes colorful a little bit colorful yes sidebar hide the top bar okay cool how about both okay that's cool how about the workspace abled how about the keyboard shortcuts the Zen mod okay do I need to update let me see just oh it is successfully updated so no need home Ah, okay let me see new tab okay you could always change that one search I preferred Google no I preferred DuckDuckGo this search engine is private Windows that's in Google hmm let me see how about DuckDuckGo how about this one can I add okay I'll just prefer like for the default search engine will be the Google but for the private windows I'll go for DuckDuckGo privacy of course this is their privacy settings you could always change from the standard to strict and customize synchronize if you have sign in into your of course Firefox application account but of course I don't want to sign in into my Firefox account yet and of course there is also Firefox love for the experience in experimental feature to try if there is some development and involving to impact the new works of this particular Firefox development okay so they also have the mozilla.org add-ons because this is based on Firefox add-on support if you need to contact the support team but it's okay let me close this one right click that one and then you have all the options right here you could like bookmark it move it of course I just want to close this one this one too I want to close 
the settings of course I want to close that too all right so yeah that is the Zen web browser so if you want to try it try it now download it it is available in all platforms Windows Mac and Linux and of course if you have some questions feel free to ask me write it in the comments down below this is your science computer and math teacher this is Blair bye for now and see you in the next episode and remember that science means knowing that is why science is cool ciao